In this video, we're going to review the SQL Nexus tool, primarily uh, the installation of the tool and the prerequisites for installing it. Uh, this is a tool we use mainly to, to uh, analyze uh, ish uh, data gathered on SQL Server performance issues. It loads and analyzes data primarily gathered by SQL Diag and PSS Diag. Now, I'm on the CodePlex uh, website right now where you can download SQL Nexus itself. Since it has a link to PSS Diag, I'm going to click through to that and go to the PSS Diag Configuration Manager product. Uh, this is where you would you can download this project from CodePlex as well, and you can use this to create your own PSS Diag packages for gathering data. Uh, but we're going to talk about this some other time, and I'm going to focus on SQL Nexus. And again, SQL Nexus is for analyzing data we have already captured. Uh, this utility is supported on operating systems Windows 2008 and up. So that includes Windows 2008 R2, Windows 7, Windows 8 and 8.1, and Windows Server 2012 and 2012 R2. Uh, there are instructions here for running this on Windows 2000, tw Windows uh, Server 2012 and Windows 8, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, when you run the Nexus utility, you may get the message that uh, Windows protected your PC from running an unrecognized app. So if you get this message, you would need to acknowledge it and tell it to run anyway, if you want this tool to continue. Uh, SQL Server, uh, the, the SQL Nexus utility uh, does a lot of analysis of the data in question and it needs to store that data in a database. So you will actually have to have an instance of SQL Server that is already installed. Uh, so it can store the information there, and it will connect to that instance and, uh, and process the data there. So you will need an instance of SQL Server 2008, SQL Server 2008 R2, or SQL Server 2012 uh, to connect to on the back end. Um, this can process data gathered from uh, SQL Server 2005 and any instances after that. .NET Framework is, in, is required for SQL Nexus, and there is a link provided. I already have it installed in my case. If you are using SQL 2008 or 2008 R2, you must uh, install the Report Viewer Control. Uh, this is not necessary for SQL Server 2012. So, additionally, there is a uh, Report viewer hotfix that you must install uh, for for whatever instance of for whatever version of SQL Server you have. Um, I will click through to this. Uh, what you'll find if you do not install this hotfix is that SQL Nexus will run. It will analyze the data. It will connect to the database fine. But when you go to view the reports, that will fail. So here's the download link to go to connect.microsoft.com where you can actually download the fix for Report Viewer. Additionally, you need to install uh, RML Utilities. Uh, mainly this is for uh, the Reporter Utility and for Read Trace, which is necessary to analyze the profiler data that will be gathered by a PSS Diag. So I'm going to click through to that. Uh, we have links for x86 and x64. I'm going to install the x64 version. This will only take a minute. I'm going to download this. I'm going to have it run. Here we go. I'm going to. I've already reviewed the uh, license agreement. You'll want to do this yourself. I'm going to. I'm going to install this in the default location. It's perfectly fine. And allowing that. Okay, that's installed. Now, if I go under Program Files, this will be under Microsoft Corporation and that's where the RML utilities are located. And mainly, the, like I said, the important things here are the read trace utilities. Uh, the read trace utility will uh, read data from uh, profile or trace files, and the reporter itself, which is using to display the information we've gathered through SQL Nexus. With that done, we've uh, walked through all of the prerequisites. Um, I already have two instances of SQL Server installed, uh, a 2008 R2 instance and a 2012 instance, named appropriately. And uh, so the next step is I'm going to actually download the SQL Nexus tool. And I've created a folder on my C drive for SQL Nexus, and I'm going to save it there. And I'm going to open the folder. So I'm going to 
extract this. And if I go into the release folder, I see that we have another compressed folder for SQL Nexus. I'm going to extract this. There is a readme here um, that basically just contains links on uh, that link back to the CodePlex website if you're having problems with, uh, with anything. Uh, and for details on how to use the data collectors, which we'll also cover in a separate video. So if I go into the SQL Nexus 4.0 folder, here is the SQL Nexus executable. I'm going to open this up now. All right, first thing it does is it asks me to connect to my SQL instance. Um, the dot, of course, is telling it to connect to an instance on the local system, and since this is a named instance, I have a slash and the uh, name of the instance. If I was going to be connecting to a clustered instance of SQL, I would need to give it the virtual server name, and then a slash, and then whatever instance name uh, I need for that instance. If I'm connecting to a default instance, we don't need to have the slash and the instance name. But for my case, I'm going to connect to my uh, named instance on my local machine. And now we are connected. So um, this is the tool. This is uh, it. We have it installed, we have it functioning on this. Uh, the next step would be to actually import some data and analyze that, but we will do that uh, in the next video. Thank you very much. Hope you find this useful.